guys, we got a lot to do today. Let's just go ahead and knock out these errands real quick so we can start working on the E91 M3. So our first stop was Foreign Build. Shout out to them. They let me borrow this heat lamp that's gonna allow us to wrap the E91 M3 with so much more ease. They noticed how much I was struggling with the 3M wrap in the cold, so they decided to let me borrow this thing. So I headed out, went to North Highlands to pick this bad boy up, and at the same time, I actually went back, um, and because they're also in North Highlands, BMA European, um, just to return some things. Um, they didn't know it was damaged. I didn't know it was, da was damaged. I did some test fitting, um, and they were, you know, they were very nice. They took it back, no issues. So yeah, I got those hinges dropped off but then our next stop is the most important stop because this is something they've been working on for so 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 long and it's actually going to be helping us out when we first start our first major business there's this company over here in fremont i believe somewhere in fremont um that they're pretty much moving out old furniture and they're trying to get new furniture in so long story short they posted an ad on facebook saying that everything must go for five dollars i was like what five dollars i decided you know what i'm gonna go ahead and drive down to fremont it was like two and a half hours and uh, they had a bunch of furniture looked almost brand new that we can definitely use in this new business that we're starting up and uh, i was like you know i just couldn't pass on it. i couldn't pass on it so, so i went down there in the f-150 and as you guys can see we stacked that thing up to the brim we literally have tables on tables on tables um we also have some file cabinets we also have some storage stuff this type of stuff you're to find it second hand even it'll probably be over a thousand dollars all this stuff and we got it for 40 dollars 40 dollars guys super happy about it and i'm just super happy we had the check to go get it so now that we're back from running our errands we are finally ready to finish up this e91 m3 now i i, I say finally but there's still a lot more things to do so come on over here we do need to paint this intersection uh we do have a can that matches the original paint so i want this section to at least match the original paint so when we open and close the door it doesn't look really bad um also we do need to sand down this entire quarter panel this bumper right over here we need to completely sand it down we just need to Kind of sand it to where it's smooth enough to where it won't show through the wrap it is smooth it's just not smooth enough so that's what we need to work on um this trunk as well is actually pretty smooth but i'm going to sand it a little more we have to remove badges all this stuff wrap the trunk as well wrap this rear bumper as i said earlier and then yeah same with this quarter panel and then actually we're gonna be wrapping these side skirts as well something i did notice though is that this fitment on this this side skirt is not exactly where i want it so i might have to do some trimming for that to fit properly i'll let you guys know on that here in a little bit and last but not least we do need to paint this intersection right over here because this part was repaired as well um, honestly it's barely any like bondo on this section they just they pretty much pulled it out but they did this bondo thing kind of just you know make it look very smooth so long story short i don't know if it looks like a lot of work to you guys but it's a lot of work we got a lot of things we got to get done here today but first things first i think i want to go ahead and just start sanding actually we forgot to do the front bumper as well we got to sand this section right down over here um we got the paint chips i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah. yeah, it's pretty noticeable. Yeah, it's pretty noticeable. So we need to sand this section down. And honestly, that's the only section we really have to sand down. I think the rest of it, um, you know, the wrap should be able to lay itself down and look pretty smooth. Um, so yeah, again, we got a lot to knock out. We're hoping to do this entire car in today's video. So if you guys can smash the like button, me and my brother are gonna be working on this for like the next two or three days nonstop. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Everything else pretty much prepped up in the rear. It is time to finally start working on the front bumper. The front bumper also has some imperfections. I went ahead and sanded it completely down, and we're just gonna go ahead and just throw some primer on there, and then sand it some more, and just you know, kind of go back and forth, back and forth, so that bumper is as smooth as it can be. This is the next day, guys, and uh, me and my brother did so much prep work yesterday. Yesterday was a very rainy day, and uh, we took advantage of the rain. We were outside in the rain, and that's unfortunately the reason why I couldn't actually film it all, is because we were out in the rain. I didn't want my camera getting damaged. But if you guys 
can come check this out over here. Um, we took off the, the door hinges. This right here, the blend is very smooth. Now we actually paint this section. It's gonna come out super nice. This entire quarter panel is very smooth, ready for wrap. The blend over here is very smooth. So the transition for the wrap is gonna come out absolutely perfect. Uh, we still need to do some drying. As you guys can see, there's still some water in here. Um, we let this thing dry overnight, but there's still some water. So what we got right over here, shout out to my boys at Foreign Builds. Uh, they basically have this giant heat lamp that's not only gonna heat our work area that's gonna allow us to hopefully lay down this 3M wrap better, but also help us wrap and also keep us warm. So uh, this bad boy apparently can heat up the area significantly, especially the wrap as well. Um, so that should help us apply this 3M. I'll let you guys know if it does or not, but shout out to them because they saw how much I was struggling with this 3M wrap in this cold. Um, so uh, this bad boy is pretty expensive. So I'm just happy we get to use it for the rest of this car. We have some major panels like the rear bumper, the front bumper, um, the quarter panels, side skirts or whatever, but yeah, still some major panels to do. Um, and then also we got the rear end as well, the bumper. So we sanded down the rear bumper, very, very, very smooth. Super happy with how this thing came out. Um, the trunk as well, all the patches that were dented, we got that bonded up, patched up and sanded down. So everything's super smooth. We're just gonna go through it all with the clay bar one more time, wipe it down, make sure it's very, very, very clean again one more time because the prep is the most important thing when it comes to painting or wrapping. So. Uh, yeah, I think we're almost ready to go. We have the other sides, pretty much the jams done as well. Uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and start wrapping it because I cannot wait, guys, to see this section, this section red matching the rest of the car. It's gonna look so, so, so good. Oh, this is nice, bro. Oh. You know, we don't need to wrap, bro. Let's just stand here. <laughs> oh, this is nice. This is too fancy for us. Yo, you do not want to touch this thing. Yeah, it is getting so hot so quick. Imagine just lasers this. So at this point, guys, I'm removing all the door trims um, just to pretty much get the area completely exposed so we can actually start painting on the door jams. Guys, I'm super excited for this step because I really don't want any of the primer or the bono to show. I don't mind different colored panels here and there um, because we're slapping wrap on it, but especially when it comes to the door jams, I want it all one color and I like it a dark color. So we pretty much got everything prepped up and we started putting our first layers of coat on there. Um, we actually got a spray can with the exact paint coat that we needed and guys, it turned out amazing we ended up putting I believe three to four layers um, per door jam um, which ended up coming out with a beautiful result it does need a polish to end up you know making it look more OEM but that's not a big deal in the meantime my brother was working on some other little pieces on the car and they turned out amazing again shout out to my brother for helping me throughout this entire process because guys this would have took me at least 10 days if it wasn't for his help so shout out to him me and my brother were literally just working on things independently and then coming together to work on things together so for example you guys are seeing him right now work on the trunk and then over here in a little bit you guys are gonna see me work on the mirror caps so we're just kind of going back and forth back and forth trying to knock out as much things as possible but everything guys was coming together so nicely And I say everything was going smooth mainly because, of course, um, things were not going 100% smooth uh, in the end. Check this out. 
And days later, guys, we are still working on the E91 M3. <laughs> As you guys can see from this angle right over here, it's looking so good. We have the doors, the quarter panel, the side skirts all done, bolted up. We even readjusted the fender up there. So everything's looking really, really, really good over here. The unfortunate thing is um, we still have both bumpers to do and the other side skirt, and we still have a bunch of little things. For example, like trim pieces, we need to get done in gloss black, all these pieces in gloss black. We need to do the side markers in gloss black, front bumper in gloss black, and obviously we have the full interior, the weather line is we are far from completing this build entirely, but we did knock out these bad boys and it looks so good. But at this point, guys, if we can at least get this thing fully wrapped, I'll be so, so, so happy because I've been calling my brother every single day for like the last three to four days. Again, shout out to him for coming by every single day for three to four days. And today is gonna be like the fourth or fifth day. So long story short, we're almost spending an entire week wrapping this car. And the reason being is you guys are seeing that we're actually painting the door jams and it looks so much better painted rather than the Bondo all sticking up looking terrible. We painted three jams, adjusted the doors, adjusted the fenders, the side skirts, sanded down the whole rear end where the Bondo was and everything, where they actually welded up and converted the whole rear end of this car. So long story short, this is not just your typical wrap job that takes two to three days. This is going to take much, much, much longer. So hopefully, hopefully this one video, I'm trying to get it jam packed for you guys, wrapping this entire car, which would be pretty nice. Like I said, there's a few things that need some prep work, like this area right over here. We did add some primary. I need to sand it down, make sure it looks as good as possible before wrapping it. We do need to remove that and probably actually patch up the holes for the bumper as well so, because I don't like that license plate frame thing and then we actually do have to remove the rear bumper because the PDC sensors are not actually in there we need to take it off put in the PDCs before actually wrapping it so long story short still every panel needs to come off it needs some prep work it needs some attention to detail um, so that's the reason why I'm sorry that this video took so long to get out it's just because we have so much to get done but it's gonna look so good in the end and I cannot wait for you guys and also for myself to see a cinematic of this bad boy once it's fully wrapped up in one color so after the do I'm gonna go ahead and start working Working on some touch-up pieces. We do have to do some overlays right down over here, some white over here, some white over here, and then my brother is gonna be coming here in a little bit. So while he's eating breakfast and getting ready, I'm actually gonna be sanding that, getting that bumper prepped up, and just doing some overlays. So as soon as he gets here, we can knock out the other side skirts and get to those bumpers. And guys, I mean, check out the results on this bumper. It was going so well once again. You guys can see we got everything kind of laid down on there. The heat lamp was really helping up there. But unfortunately, as you guys can see on the side, we had another tear. The wrap ripped so easily in the cold. And unless we had the whole bumper heated, um, it's just it was just, you know, everything which kept on ripping. It became very frustrating for us. So we decided to just go ahead and do some overlays on the edges there. We did some overlays in the center to put the grill on. We put on the sensors as well. Um, we had to remove the bumper regardless to put on the sensors and we decided to wrap it with the bumper on the car and guys it turned out amazing <laughs> I 
<laughs> Whoa, we finally finished this bumper, guys. We at, well, This is our second take. When we, we're pretty much 60% right done with the other bumper. We messed up. And we messed up. And that's the thing, guys, wrapping in the cold. I mean, shout out to my boys at Foreign Builds for giving us this thing. We yeah. used it so much tonight, especially with 3M wrap. It rips in the cold, like literally rips like paper. So, um, yeah, thank goodness we're done with this rear bumper. Have you shown the rear bumper? Oh, yeah, yeah. Guys, check this thing Do this out. Real quick. Oh. Look at that. Put the light on it. Dad, dad, dude, this come looks, here, come here. Even with the, I haven't even seen it either. Yeah, yeah, with here. these taillights too in red, it just looks... Oh my god, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All the hard work, guys. Looks All good. the hard work. And this is pretty much like eight. This is almost a year in the making. Like, yeah. we got this car like a year ago. So that's kind of crazy, but... Guys, we still have one more panel to do. I don't really know if we're gonna do this tonight. Panel? No, no, this is a bumper. This is the bumper. This is worse than a panel. Yep. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see what we're gonna think about it <laughs> while we're just heating up this bumper, making sure everything uh, adheres properly. Usually when you finish wrapping something, you go over with a heat gun just to make sure if there's any bubbles and stuff like that, you get it out right then and there um, rather than you know down the road when it's kind of brittle and messed up and whatnot. So anyways, I'm gonna keep going at this and uh, we'll check back to you guys with whether or not we're actually gonna be doing this front bumper for today's video or not because it's been, bro, like four or five days for this video and I wanna get a video out for you guys. So we'll see, we'll see. And just like that, guys, it definitely needs a cleaning. It definitely needs a cinematic. I really wish I could bring you guys both of those things in today's video, but unfortunately, it did take us five days. My brother had to go back to work. And long story short, the fact that he was able to help me five days working on this car is absolutely insane. I know it doesn't look like we did absolutely much on this car because you guys have seen me wrap cars way faster than three or four days. At the end of the day, this car required so much prep work um, for the wrap to stick on there very nicely to be very smooth, um, not have any issues throughout the entire bumper. It just looks so, so, so good. We had to do masking for all the jams. Literally all this thing needs is just a good polish. It's gonna look so good, like factory, which I honestly can't believe the paint can results come out this nice. This one looks great too, but the main one is this driver's one. And check this out. This looks so good. Finally, oh, this is all paint match. Doesn't look weird. Just needs a good polish. We have the VIN number just chilling right there as well. We did the mirror caps. We did the side pieces. And like I said, guys, we had to remove pretty much everything to get this entire section wrapped up. We did the side skirts. We actually fixed the side skirt gapping um, somewhat, you know, somewhat to a degree. This is a custom build, so things are not going to be absolutely perfect, but no one can look at any of this and say hey you could have done better <laughs> the fact that this came from a 328i wagon um to an m3 wagon with the wide body and just the full kit on there the engine the transmission this is a real m3 at this point it's just absolutely insane, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head back inside, edit this video so I can get this video out to you guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a pause on the E91 M3. I really wanna finish up the car. I really wish we did finish up the car, uh, but we messed up on the side skirt. We messed up the rear bumper because how cold things were. Um, so long story short, we're gonna go ahead and just put this car a little bit on the back burner just for like a few days so we can have some time to work on the Audi R8. I really wanna start working on this. Some of the parts actually came in, the major parts that we need to start assembling that car. I wanna start putting things on the car and just test fit a bunch of things to see if we have even more issues or you know we're on the right track because ordering parts for this car takes so 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 long it takes months to get here and i'd rather start putting on some of the pieces to find out if we need more pieces if you guys know what i mean so any anyway, audi ra video coming soon i know a lot of you guys are excited for that i'm very excited for that and then of course of course we'll get back to the e91 m3 i just i just want to work on the r8 as well we have two amazing builds i am so blessed thank you guys so much for supporting this channel but without further ado i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you on the next one peace out